Now let's show you how to determine the location for your charge device, either alternating current or solar power. Remember, if you need to extend the charge device cable to reach the charge controller, you'll need to order the Sentry Charge Cable Extension Kit from our website. If you choose to make the extension cable yourself, there's a chart in the installation manual to help you determine the size of the wire you'll need in relation to the distance you want to extend the charge cable. In all cases, you should use the junction box we provided with our kit to keep the external connections dry. Install the DC plug connection and splice it into the junction box. Lastly, connect the transformer to an approved electrical receptacle. Caution. A qualified electrician should install the 110 volt AC receptacles per local building codes. Once the charge device is plugged into the charge controller, you need to identify your installation. You'll need to verify proper operation by observing the lights on the charge controller and comparing them to the chart in your owner's manual. Remember, most batteries will not be completely charged when they are first connected. The charge light should come on when the charge controller is first connected, and the fully charged light will come on once the battery is fully charged. When using a solar charger, the charge controller will only charge the battery when there is enough sun to do so. If there is no sun, then the lights on the charge controller should be off. This feature reduces the drain on the battery in solar installations. If you've installed the AC charger, the lights are operational all of the time. Again, be sure to refer to the chart in your owner's manual to make sure the AC charger or the solar power is operating properly. Now let's take a look at how to install the linear actuator cable. With the control box installed, route the linear actuator cable into the bottom of the control box using the one and a quarter inch hole in the rear bottom. Slide the hole plug that is installed on the linear actuator cable into the control box hole and snap it into place. If there is excessive cable length, coil it up and place it in the wire compartment of the control box. Make sure there is enough cable for connection to the Sentry Control Board Gate 1 connector. 